Joining me here at uh, Weston is the Hereford manager, Josh Gowling. Um, Hereford lost today 2-0. What did you take out of the match? Um, we need some strikers <laughs> for a start, yeah. No, um, obviously, we again, you know, we've got Charles in and, you know, you want them to kind of send a message, I suppose, that, you know, they want to be here and I, I don't really think, you know, they did that as well as they could. I um, think Jared was excellent. But, you know, when we're looking at the way we're going to play and, you know, looking at our balls, you know, we haven't got anyone up top, so it's always difficult. It, was, it, didn't, speak, it didn't seem to be an outlet for, for Hereford today, given the, the fact that you, you didn't have a target man out there. No, we played two centre mids up top, so, you know, that doesn't help, obviously. <laughs> but no, you, look, you know, you look at the team and we've got six players out injured, so obviously that didn't really help, I suppose. But no, it is what it is. It's a great pre-season friendly. They start next week, um, so it's good minutes for the boys, you know, especially Grimesy, Yaz and a couple of other lads so it's you know it's good minutes for them it, it get, it's a good litmus test I suppose of, of you know what, what, what we're to expect so you know you play against the, the TNSs of this world and they play nice football but that's not the football we're going to play no. you know when the season starts so it's a good to come down here you know they're a big physical side you know they've got some lads obviously from, from Hereford last year and um, it was a good test You could see that they were very very settled they start next week 10th yeah. 10th friendly for them today um, yeah. Would you like to be in that position when you've got a settled side? Because it's creeping, creeping <laughs> up, isn't it? Yeah, it's creeping. No, look, we know we've got a lot of work to do. Um, you know, we're not a Boston or a, or a Gloucester or Kitty to a certain extent that have got loads of money and we can just go and pick the best players and get on at the club. We're not in that position, unfortunately. So you know, we have to look at try lists and. and you know, try and take the best players. You know, in that way, they don't have clubs and come in and, and prove themselves at the club. And that's where we're at as a football club at the moment. So, I'm, I'm happy. You know, I know that the lads we've brought in, apart from obviously they're being injured, I'm happy with what we've got, and we will get more. You know, we, we need more players, and of course, and, and you know, we'll get that. Uh, where are you going to get these trial games? Because there's a, obviously a big concern about Solid Hull Moors and the, the Sandwell, and the, you know, the lockdown in Birmingham. Are you going to be able to play these games? Better do. <laughs> We've got them twice. Um, yeah, it's a threat there. No, 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 we may no, not no. be able to play them. No, but well, they've said it. We're elite football, aren't we? So I think I'm not sure whether or not the guidelines follow us. So I think Solihull can come anyway, as far as I'm aware. So whether or not that changes, I, I don't know. But no, look, at the end of the day, we'll be we'll, we'll adapt. If, if if it you know gets called off, then we'll look against someone else in to, to, to get some more games. And um, looking at the, the trialists. Um, you seem to have got it in your head there from what you were saying that you've whittled them down you weren't necessarily impressed with too many today so you'll be honing in on those that you were impressed with 100% <laughs> yeah no um, there's some trials that have been here from day one um, and there's a couple obviously that have well there's more than a couple that have come in you know during you know the last couple of weeks so there's a couple I've been impressed with and you know we would you know maybe look at doing something with and then there's a couple obviously that will move on you know, that's the nature of being a trialist. It's difficult, you know, I, I must say, going into a football club as a trialist, not knowing the environment and having to impress and, you know, having a couple of training sessions and then playing a game is, is always difficult to, 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 to impress. I get that, but, you know, obviously we don't have time. So, you know, if lads come in, they've got to kind of hit the ground running, really. How many other irons in the fire have you got? Are there, are there people out there that are going to come in late for whatever reason or is it a question you've got to look at uh, bringing new trialists in? You know, that haven't been on your radar until now. No, we're looking at. Um, we've got a couple we're looking at. Obviously, I think um, season ticket sales have helped. So I think the fact that the fans have been obviously been tremendous and buying season tickets helps. You know, hopefully um, we can get some of that money, which will be good. So now we, we've got a couple of options. We've had options from the start, really. But you know, at the end of the day, it comes down to do lads want to come to this level? Um, do they want to wait for a, a national league club? Do they want to wait for a football league club? So obviously, the football league started today. So obviously those lads will then start filtering down so you'd like to think we'll pick up a few more over the next couple of weeks Fans are worried about the injuries yep. are they long standing injuries or is it because you described some of them as pre-season niggles yep. um, but it's getting close to the season now are they going to be fit in time? Well, we've got three weeks so we've got a long time so you know we've got majority of the lads will be back Monday training so the reason we've not put them in is because a niggle turns into a tear turns into two, three months so you know and with our budget the way we've got to be with it is be make sure that we you know really look after the players. So that was what it was. To see Tao out here today, he's obviously did the warm up. Um, Dan Jones will be back Monday. Uh, Lenny's you know joined doing the warm up Thursday, so he looked to join in you know training next week. So Dimitri, Demi's uh, got a little injury, so we'll be looking at bringing him back in next week as well. So there's there's a few that they're, they're on the way back, but we just got to be really careful with them. 
to make sure that they're right ready for the start of the season. Because obviously if they're the spine of the team, you want them out there and to, to gel and make sure everything's ready for, for the big kickoff. Yeah, 100%. You want them all playing the games, getting used to playing with each other. The good thing about the squad at the moment is all the lads know each other. So the, the lads that we've brought in, they've all got a connection. They all know each other throughout football. So that's a good thing. So they've already got that team spirit. I think our team spirit is great this year. Um, the lads have really enjoyed being here. So we've just got to keep pushing and look at other options. You know, hopefully they'll fall within our budget and then we'll just press on, get them in and get ready for the start of the season. Thanks for your time. No problem. Are you considering as registering yourself as a player this season? <laughs> I think I might have to, to be fair. I think we've got to register 16 players by um, next week, haven't we? So um, I might have to uh, get my feet. To be fair, I joined in training on Thursday because uh, we need an extra body and my body's sore today. <laughs> deadline, is it next week? That you've got yeah, to... I think we've got to register uh, 16 by next week. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be having a look at a few things. couple of youth players in that younger players in we that. can yes. <laughs> you probably will <laughs> yeah I mean Toby Ray is really impressed I'm guessing he might be in your plans a bit further forward yeah you know I spoke about Toby a lot um, I think the player he is now to what he was uh, pre-lockdown um, is chalk and cheese I think he's gone away he's worked hard he's studied he's always asking questions especially to the older pros and he's, he's, he's come back a real different player and I'm really impressed with his attitude there's you know young lads nowadays don't necessarily always have the best attitudes obviously some of them do of course but Toby's a very, he's definitely an exception you know he wants to learn he wants to do well he wants to be at the club he's like I said in an interview prior he's knocking on my door constantly ringing my phone saying when can I come in when can I come in for pre-season and he's, he's been brilliant and you know he's come in he's worked hard he's played I mean even today he came up top didn't he and you know he's, he doesn't care he just wants to play football and it's, it's a really credit to the football club he does look versatile. He is, yeah, big man. A bit like Barry calls him Hangerland. <laughs> so now nah, he's um, he's a good he's, he's a good lad and he's, he's good to run good good to have around the bunch. So yeah, right, perfect. No problem. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Oh, we see you.